Hi, in this video, I will explain what is structure equation modeling, why and when we use structure equation modeling. Generally, structural equation modeling technique is widely used in behavioral sciences. It is viewed as a combination of factor analysis and path or regression analysis. The interest in structural equation modeling is the theoretical constructs that are represented by latent variables. So structural equation modeling is a basically statistical technique that is used to establish and observe relationships between latent variables and their respective factors. So, structural equation modeling is a two-step approach that measure the relationship between observed variables and latent variables. So, now we want to discuss when and why we use structural equation modeling. So, the first thing that a structural equation modeling technique analyzes is the latent constructs. A latent construct is theoretical in nature that cannot be observed directly. Thus, it cannot be measured directly. So, to measure the latent construct, researchers capture indicators that represent that underlining latent construct. For example, in this case, the marketing capabilities is a latent construct and SM1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are the indicators that represent this latent construct. So, in research, we cannot directly measure marketing capabilities. So, in order to measure marketing capabilities, we will, or the researcher will measure these 8 indicators and these eight indicators will overall represent their latent cap construct that is marketing capabilities. The second thing for which the structural equation modeling is used is confirmatory factor analysis. As I have already discussed that structural equation modeling is a two-step approach First, we use structural equation modeling to establish the relationships between latent constructs and their indicators or factors. So, in confirmatory factor analysis, we establish the relationship of the latent constructs with their respective indicators. So, confirmatory factor analysis is a statistical technique to verify the factor structural structure of latent constructs. It is a special form of factor analysis that is used to test whether the indicators or measures of a respective latent construct are related or not. So, in confirmatory factor analysis, basically, we establish the reliability of the indicators with their respective latent constructs, their convergent validity, and their discriminant validity. 
For example, in this case, we have certain dependent and independent variables. For example, SMC, which stands for Static Marketing Capability, AMC, which stands for Adaptive Marketing Capabilities, Explore, which stands for Market Exploration, and INCPD means Incremental Product Innovation. In this case, we have a total of four latent variables. Each latent variable has certain indicators that represent respective latent variable. For example, SMC has eight indicators, AMC has 12 indicators, Exploration has five indicators, and incremental product innovation has four indicators. In confirmatory factor analysis, we analyze the outer model of or the outer measurement model of our research model. The outer model is represented by the indicators of your research model. So, in confirmatory factor analysis, we will first establish the validity of the indicator. Reliability means how the indicators of a respective latent construct are consistently mirroring that particular latent construct. For example, in this case, SMC has 8 indicators. So, Reliability means how these eight indicators are consistently mirroring static marketing capability that is SMC. And similarly, how these 12 indicators are consistently mirroring AMC which is adaptive marketing capability and similarly for exploration and incremental product innovation. After establishing the consistency of the indicators while marrying their respective latent constructs, we have to establish the convergent validity, which means how the indicators of our respective latent construct are internally well correlated with each other. For example, in this case, SMC has 8 indicators. These all indicators should be very highly correlated with each other because all the 8 indicators are measuring the similar phenomena that is static marketing capability. Similarly, the 12 indicators of AMC should be highly correlated with each other because these all the 12 indicators are measuring similar phenomena that is adaptive marketing capability and similarly for exploration and incremental product innovation. After establishing the convergent validity, now we have to establish the discriminant validity of our construct. Discriminant validity represents how the indicators of a latent construct of one variable are correlated with the indicators of another latent construct. For example, in this case, how the indicators of SMC are correlated with AMC. As SMC is completely a different phenomena from AMC, so the indicators of SMC must not be highly correlated with AMC. So, if the indicators of a latent construct is not highly correlated with the indicators of another latent construct. It means there is a good discriminant validity between these two constructs or the indicators of these constructs. So, first step in structural equation modeling was to measure the outer model of your research model. So, in this step, confirmatory factor analysis, we establish reliability, convergent validity, and discriminant validity. After 
analyzing the outer model. Now we have to analyze the inner model, which is the causal relationships between the variables. Basically, these are represented by the inner model, these arrowheads. AMC2 exploration, SMC2 exploration, AMC2 exploration, and exploration to incremental product innovation. So these are basically the hypotheses that we want to test in our research model. So inner model is represented by the relationships between the latent variables. So for establishing the relationships between the latent variables, we also use structural equation modeling. We can also use other uh, softwares or other techniques to measure the relationships between latent variables, but structural equation modeling simultaneously tests all the proposed relationships between latent constructs. Third, structural equation modeling technique enables you to simultaneously measure the proposed relationships between latent variables in case when you have more than one dependent variable. In other analysis, in other techniques that measure the relationships between latent constructs, you cannot simultaneously measure the relationships of dependent, independent variables with more than one dependent variable. But in structural equation modeling technique, you can simultaneously measure the relationship of number of independent variables with a number of dependent variables. Fourth, structural equation modeling is widely used for testing the mediating relationships of variables. For example, in this case, static marketing capability is directly connected with incremental product innovation and also indirectly connected with incremental product innovation through exploration. So, in structural equation modeling technique, you can simultaneously measure the indirect and direct relationship of independent variables with mediators and dependent variables. The fifth one is you can also measure the moderating effect of a variable on the relationship of dependent and independent variables simultaneously by using structural equation modeling technique. In case of simple regression analysis, you cannot establish the moderating and direct relationships of the variables in one step. But in structural equation modeling, you can simultaneously measure the relationship of dependent variable with independent variable by including the moderating variable effect. So structural equation modeling technique is basically used to measure the factors of the latent constructs, how well they are mirroring those constructs, how well the factors or the indicators are internally correlated and mirroring that particular construct, how well they are discriminant from the other constructs, that is CFA. And after that, in the next step, you measure the proposed relationships between the latent variables simultaneously when you have more than one dependent variable. You can also use it for a single dependent variable, but simultaneously measuring the relationship of different latent variables by having mediators, moderators, and more than one dependent variable. Structural equation modeling technique is the best approach that can be used in those situations. Thank you very much.